shout out your name from the rooftops I proclaim. you. You are holy. We're not just welcoming anybody, but we are welcoming the lover of our soul. The one who has redeemed our life from destruction. He pulled us out of the pit of hell. He washed us with his blood. He cleansed us. He cleansed us. Think about that, church. He cleansed us. And he made us new. A new creation. One that never was before until the blood of Jesus dropped upon our lives. Amen. And today, he sees you and me through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah.
That is something to give thanks for. He sees you and me through the blood of Jesus Christ. So Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Would you say it with me? Holy Spirit, we welcome you with the highest honor and the greatest praise. Would you give him praise today? Hallelujah. Amen. 
Great are your ways. Great are your ways. Great are your works. Great are you, Lord, in all the earth. Great is your power. Great is your strength. Great are you, Lord. testimony lift that up this morning all my life all my life you have been faithful oh we thank you God all my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able I will see of the goodness of God come on see it again Heaven is smiling down on us right now. All my life you have been faithful. Come on, tell us. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am faithful, I will see of the goodness of God. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God all my life. your voice. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire. In darkest nights, you are close like no other. I've known, I've known you as a father. I've known you as a 
to worship him right where you are. We thank you, God, in the very midst of your presence, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you're worthy, God. Holy, 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 holy is he in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, is it all right if we just join in with the angels right now? Is it all right if we just join in with the heavens right now, with lifted hands, worshiping God, giving God glory in the very midst of his presence? to the Lamb, and all gone before us, and all who will believe, will sing a song of ages to the Lamb. Your name is the highest, your name is the greatest, your name Oh, 
nations, your name stands above them all, and the angels cry, holy, all creation cries, holy, you are lifted high, holy, holy forever. If you've been forgiven, and if you've been redeemed, sing the song forever to the Lamb. And if you walk in freedom, and if you bear His name, sing the song forever to the
Almighty, we are a thankful people today because your presence does fill this place and it fills our heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We just came to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all that you have done for us, all you're doing in us, all you're doing through us. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you're a thankful person today for all of God's goodness in your life, you know, he saved your soul. Come on, he delivered you from a devil's hell. Hallelujah. If you're a thankful people, lift your hearts with me right now and just say, thank you, Jesus. Let's take a moment and love on the Lord. Oh, we bless your holy name, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. Glory and honor to the King of kings and to the Lord of lords. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Come on, bless him. Bless him this morning. Blessings and honor. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord. 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 Oriana Maria Lama, Hallelujah, 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 Oriana Maria La Maria Lama, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just worship him out of your spirit for a moment. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Oriana Maria la Mabo Coriana Ma. Hallelujah. 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 Oriana Maria la Maria la Ma. Iana Manana Maria la Ma. Hallelujah. 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 Oriana Ma. Hallelujah. Oriana masiri ala baba karada masi, ishiri ala masiri ala ma bokor rada i ala ma i ala ma bokor rada ba, aha rada i ala ma bokor ri ala masi, ishiri ala ma ri ala ma bokor ri ala masi. The Lord would say, "Seek first my kingdom." This is the day to take another step in your faith, saith the Lord. Seek first my kingdom. This is the day to take a step higher, saith the Lord, to lift your eyes up higher than where you have seen before. Seek first the kingdom of God. This is the day to press and push. This is the day to move forward, saith the Lord, to increase your faith, to increase your devotion, saith the Lord. Seek first the kingdom of God. This is the day to lay some things aside, saith the Lord. This is the day to put things behind you, saith the Lord. This is the day to be released of things, saith the Lord. Seek first the kingdom of God, saith the Lord. Lift your hearts with me this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God, isn't God good, isn't he good, say this out loud with me, I love the Lord, he's so good to me, by his stripes, I am healed, so I speak to my body, every cell of my body, and I say line up, with the will of God, which is health and healing, in Jesus' name. I have a strong body. I have a sharp mind. In the name of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I think you're getting younger. Yes. Just, just turn to your neighbor and say, you look better than when you first came in. <laughs> Amen. Isn't it the truth? God renews our youth like the eagles. Isn't that the truth? Hallelujah. Hey, take a moment and turn around and share a love of the Lord and tell somebody this is the day the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Got any happy people in the house today? Yeah. Amen. I know you are. Turn to your neighbor and say, get happy. Amen. Hallelujah. No reason not to be. We had a tremendous men's meeting yesterday. Wow, love the guys, fantastic. We ate like royalty. It was amazing. Eggs and biscuits and gravy and bacon and oh yeah, it was good, it was good. Hallelujah, it was good. And uh, <coughs> some of the guys stayed afterwards and worked on the grounds and everything looks so pretty today. And, so, fellas, thank you for that. We sure do appreciate everything regarding that. Y'all are a blessing to the house. Thank you, Jesus. Well, if you're with us for the very first time today, we say welcome. Bienvenidos. We're glad that you're here and you're a blessing to us. I pray that we're a blessing in return to you. And if you are with us for the very first time today, in the seat pocket in front of you, there's an information card. Go ahead and get it at this moment and fill out some basic information and then hang on to it. After service, take it back to the welcome station in the back of the sanctuary and we'll give you a gift, a brand new car. That's not true. That's not true. Liar, liar, pants on fire. That is not true. <laughs> that was a lie. But we will give you a gift, that is true. And it's a sports bottle and it's filled with candy and a little booklet and a pen and this and that. And you'll get a smile and a handshake and an invitation to come be with us again. And we pray that you do. We'd love to see you over and over. And if you don't have a church home, we'd love for you to make this your church home. Praise God. And then um, today is Pantry Sunday. Praise the Lord. And uh, so thank you for bringing the non-perishables with you today and everything that's on the list up there. And if you didn't bring something and would like to make an offering, go ahead and do that at the offering time. We'll make sure it gets right to families in need. And that is a blessing to our community. And we thank Jan for heading that up. God bless you, Jan. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our dear, dear brother, Robert Muriel, uh, has passed away. And we're having a, a celebration of life service for him this Tuesday at 2 o'clock. And if you can be with us, we pray that you will be with us. He is a great blessing to this house. He was actually on staff for a while here. And he's done so much construction work round about the grounds here. And, and uh, if you can be with us, please come and be with us. We've got f family flying in. And, and we pray that you can uh, make time for that. Also, if you would like to be a one-hour hero and like to volunteer in any one of our departments, um, just for an hour a month or two hours a month, helping any which way that you possibly can, we especially need folks in the bookstore, and we need folks in the next generation ministry. You say, well, I don't want to teach. Well, maybe you can help us serve snacks or something like that. It'd be great. And then uh, grounds and landscaping on a weekly basis if we could have folks come in for one to two hours a week help us with the uh, groundkeeping this is Florida and the jungle takes over and you gotta beat it back 
And so if you're into that, we would love to have you come help us, and that would be a blessing as well. Mark your calendars. In a couple of weeks, we have coming up on April 19th, Faith and Family Conference. That's on a fri Friday night, a Saturday morning, and a Saturday afternoon. It's absolutely free. We'll serve you lunch, which is absolutely free. And we want you to bring everybody and come to this. It's for everybody in the house. It's not just a marriage conference. It is a everybody conference. So come one, come all. We would love to have you all. You will learn something. You will be blessed. These folks are fantastic. And uh, even if you pick up nuggets of wisdom for your children or your children's children, it'll be well worth it and bring folks from the neighborhood. Uh, we just need you to register, which just doesn't cost anything, but we just need to know how much lunch to prepare on Saturday. So uh, thank you for that. Impact Zone has a, a Friday fun night on the 26th of April, and then on the 27th, which is a Saturday, our 55 and above couples fellowship is meeting from 2 to 4 and they're going to have barbecue and they're going to be at the Truce house hot dog <laughs> that's going to be that's going to be great praise the lord hey i had so much fun last night uh, while debbie was doing sermon prep while she was serving jesus i was off having fun and uh, i went to redeemer christian school's annual play and it was the sound of music and um, it was great. I love the sound of music. Don't you all love the sound of music? The hills are alive with the sound of music. And uh, it, was, it was marvelous. And we had a couple of our kids that go to Redeemer uh, involved in the musical. And so we had Alyssa and Asher and Tim and they were just outstanding. I love seeing our kids. But all the kids were just great. They all, they all just put a stellar, stellar thing. And the singing, you know, some musical, so there's a lot of singing. The singing was, was wonderful. They, they had the, the true Broadway play. They put it on. And it was great. And I got a little clip of it. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if it's legal to take pictures during it, but I did. And I'm not sure if it's legal to take video of it, but I did. So, so when I show this, you could turn me in and they'll take me away somewhere, I'm sure. But I, I took a little clip of Alyssa singing and she was, um, she was Maid Marian. No, that's the wrong play. <laughs> That's Robin Hood. What am I thinking? What was she? She was Mother May I. <laughs> what was her? The head mother. Mother Superior. Thank you. <laughs> a, room full, a room full of Protestants. What do we know about anything? <laughs> we don't know any of this stuff. <laughs> Mother Superior, and she was just absolutely great, and uh, she sings Climb Every Mountain. And if we have that video, let's cue it up, dim the lights, and let's see how good my...
Wasn't that great? <laughs> when I first started hearing the kids sing, I thought, oh, they're dubbing it over a soundtrack. But that was their real voices. Just fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. So I'm, I'm so proud of them. And then speaking of the same family, Daniel, we have been raising funds for him to go on a ORU missions trip. He plays with the ORU worship team, and they're going to Asia this summer. And we've been working with him. He's been doing his part out there raising money. We've been doing our part here, and all the money has come in. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you for your generosity what a blessing you are not only did it all come in but a little extra came in for spending money and so that is a blessing everybody say amen and amen praise the lord hallelujah well do you reverence the lord the bible says we should reverence the lord the bible in the king james says that we should fear the lord but Really, that means that we should reverence the Lord. Put Him first. Re revere Him above all other things in our life. And one of the things that helps us to get things in line, in order, and prioritize correctly is the tithe. <laughs> I got three amens and a yawn. <laughs> I went from climb every mountain to down in the valley. <laughs> wow, things change quickly around here. Man, oh man. <laughs> Deut <laughs> Deuteronomy 14 and 22. It says, Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed. Uh, how many of y'all want increase in your life? Increase of your seed. What do you do with that increase? Well, you tithe on it. God wants you to increase. You want, hey, do you want to increase in good health? How about increase in happiness? Yes. How about increase in peace of mind, peace of heart? Yes. How about increase in your resources and your finances? Yes. So increase is a good thing, right? Yes. We don't want to have less of, we want to have more of. Yes. Well, what do you do with the increase? You honor God with it. Yes. You honor God with it. Yes. Thou shalt truly increase or shall truly tithe all the increase of thy seed that your field brings forth year by year. Here, verse 23. Why, 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 why? You tithe because that teaches you to reverence the Lord, that thou mayest learn to reverence the Lord thy God always. Tithing helps us put things in order. And it does. It, it really does. Debbie and I have been tithers our entire married life and uh, 41 years and tithing is a blessing to us we just started tithing right away and we've always tithed and it would be weird not to tithe we just tithe we tithe and we give and try to be as generous as we possibly can and uh, that brings blessings to your life amen and it also helps you to prioritize your life by putting God first so let's hold our seat up before the Lord right now say I'm a happy giver so I've been looking forward to this all week. <laughs> Amen. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful, so thankful that we have this opportunity to reverence you and to honor you and to magnify you in our life. So Father God, we sow this seed knowing that a harvest of souls saved, body sealed, lives changed will come from it. In Jesus' holy name we pray. We say amen and amen. God bless you in your giving. I was raised up on a beautiful hymn called The Love of God. Does anybody know it? Maybe you'll learn it for the first time today. Amen. The love of God is greater far than tongue or pen could ever tell it goes beyond the highest star and reaches to the lowest hell the guilty God gave his son 